What is going on everybody? Welcome to another video. Today, I'm gonna take you on a little journey to the drag strip for the NHRA Pacific Open. This is day one of two. not prepared for something it kills you now we planned on going to both the NHRA open and octane fest we are day one of octane fest NHRA open we got him we got him we got me Let's do it. it's gonna be a long weekend so we were trying to figure out how can we be in both places because Top Gun Open is going to have a lot of cool dragsters, probably five, ten times the amount as normal. The dirt track was having Octane Fest. And during that weekend, there were going to be things like trailer races, chain races, tough trucks, demolition derby, all that. So I wanted to be in both places at the same time. So we decided, well, let's break it up. So we get up early in the morning and the night before I had made a bunch of tuna sandwiches and uh, bought some some of those Smuckers uncrustable peanut butter and jelly sandwiches and tossed them in an ice chest and headed out. We get to Top Gun, we get all of our gear on and we're walking. We take 10, 15 steps and this gentleman rides up on, uh, I think it was a little bike and he's like, hey, and he looks right at JD. He's like, you need to put some clothes on. You're, you're gonna you're gonna die out here. Well, anybody that knows JD, he weighs like 125 pounds. He's like six foot two, weighs 125 pounds, and pasty white. And so this guy was kind of making fun, like, "Hey man, you need to put some clothes on, or you're gonna fry out here. You're gonna turn into a lobster." And we thought the guy was just messing with us. And so we're like, "Ah, yeah, he'll be fine. He'll be fine." He put on some block, blah blah blah. So we're walking, and we turn down the first row, and he's there. He's like, "I'm serious. I'll loan you a long sleeve shirt." And I'm just like, "Damn, this guy really wants to." I was to give JD a shirt. Like, he must really not like the way he looks. And so he comes over and he's like, no, I'm wearing one too, blah, blah, blah. It's one of those cool shirts that make you, that cool you off and it's long sleeve so you're not gonna, you know, get hit by the sun, blah, blah, blah. Really cool dude. Gives him this shirt. Just gives it to him. Here you go. Here's a shirt. I got a bunch of them. Here, take one. Okay, cool. So they started off pretty, pretty damn good. It's paint job is, it's got a nice purple backdrop and then it's got yellow splattering that fades into an orange. It transitions, kind of like James's mom. the drag strip we spend maybe 30 to 45 minutes just walking up the rows taking photos of the the parked dragsters and maybe talking to people didn't happen that way we walked up one aisle and then we had to walk down another aisle and then walk back up another aisle and then back another aisle by the time we actually got down to the pit it was close to noon there were that many cars I was watching just this past week, I was watching a bunch of videos and I saw a bunch of wrecks and I was like, why does everybody run up to the car and touch something on the back? 
Well, now I know why. So now you know. The sun was just beating down on us the whole time. I think that day, um, it was somewhere around 100 degrees, something like that. So it was, it was pretty hot. So the time comes, we finally get down to the pit and I'm just like, you know, I'm always taking the same, the, the photos from the same position. So I'm gonna spend all day today doing panning shots. That's, that's what's on my agenda for today, just panning shots. I'm just gonna stand, not in the middle of the track, but probably about 150 to 200 feet from the start line and just get the cars as they go by and get those nice, beautiful, blurred background panning shots. Well, on this day, it wasn't working out for me. So the pan shots aren't really working out too much today. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's me or if I'm just used to doing it at a certain speed because I'm used to doing the dirt track, but for some reason they're not working out. So I'm gonna focus on those tomorrow. I'm gonna focus today on possibly getting some wheels up and shots of the drivers inside the cars, things like that. I don't know if I was just accustomed to the speed at the dirt track of going, you know, right to left and now I'm going left to right and I'm not used to going there. I don't know what it is. And so I'm thinking to myself, well, is it, is it this? Is it the speed the cars are going at? What is the reason I'm missing these shots? And I still don't know what it was. I think I was just off. I think it's me. I don't think it was the camera. I don't think it was uh, the lighting or it was nothing. I think it was just me. So panning didn't really work out and that's okay because we only got about two hours down there in the pit area because we were going to leave about 2, 2.30. Plus, it was getting really, really hot at that time, so we decided to take a lunch break. So we trekked it back to the car, and we opened the ice chest, and we ate you know, a couple sandwiches, had some water, had some, uh, some soda, sat in the car with the air conditioning on for about 15 minutes or so, kind of cooled off, got out, went back down to the pits, and continued. Just before we left, we were down in the pit, and one of the ladies we had spoken to earlier in the day uh, was joking with us, or so we thought, saying, hey, you know, when I cook some food, I'll find you guys and bring you some food. Well, we, got, we brought lunch, no big deal. <laughs> Best camera crew ever. Thank you so Good much. Doll. Thank Enjoy. you. She rides up on this little bike, and in her hand is a plate of fries. So, when we were out walking around the pit, we came across this lady who is out here with her kids that are racing today. And she made a joke about she'll come get us whenever she starts cooking. We all laughed. It was funny. She shows up in the pit, or out here on the track, with french fries for us. A whole plate heaping of french fries. She was a total sweetheart. Thank you very much. They had a guy come out and he had to take the temperature of the ground for the cars. When he took the temperature of the ground, it was 125 degrees. The asphalt was 125 degrees. There was a point where my shoes were sticking to the asphalt. That's how hot it was. So imagine how hot it was for us, the, uh, the other drivers, the kids in the cars. I mean, it was, it was a, a insanely crazy and exhausting day. I did have a great time. All in all though, day one at the drag strip for the NHRA Pacific Open was fun. It was eye-opening, I'll just say that. I did not know how many people come to these events. Uh, the first few events that we had gone to at Top Gun, most of them were locals. And so, you know, there's 25, maybe 30 cars, typically. When we went this weekend, it was hundreds. There were people from all over California. There were people from Colorado, Las Vegas, just everywhere. And they were all super nice. You walk by and you think, you know, I'm a photographer. I'm going to sneak a shot. And a guy just like squirts us with the hose. Like, does that feel better? Like, what? Like, are you being, you know, are you being mean right now? He's like, no, you guys look like you need to be cooled off. You want to take some photos of my car? Let's do it. It was super cool. Everybody that we've encountered at Top Gun thus far has been a phenomenal person. We haven't had one single bad experience at Top Gun. So my experience 
with day one of the Pacific Open, great day. Very exhausting day, as you'll see, but it was a great day. We had a blast. We were exhausted. We were burnt out by the end of the day, but it was worth it. And then we got up the next day and we did it again. So we are partially through with day one. It is super hot out here. Um, man, I smelled bacon. That's how hot it was. Um, so now we're going from Top Gun, which is the drag strip, over to Rattlesnake, which is the dirt track. It's 2.22. We got here at 9 this morning. So 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, five and a half hours. And then we're going to be at Rattlesnake until about 9.30, 10 o'clock. So that's just day one. We got to come back tomorrow, do the same thing tomorrow. Hopefully I have a lot better luck on the panning shots. But who knows? We'll see what happens. Maybe I'll, uh, I'll fall into my groove when we get to the dirt. In the next video, you're going to see day two of Top Gun Raceway. Then following that, for the next couple weeks, you're going to see some of the dirt track stuff from Octane Fest. Those took place in the same day as these first two videos. Both days we spent about 14 hours out and in the sun. So it should be pretty entertaining for you. So I'm going to show a bunch of photos from day one. And remember, if you do like any of these photos, be sure to visit my Payhip store at payhip.com slash Jeff Gresham Photography. Photos are only $10. So pick one or two or 10 up. It's greatly appreciated. Until next time, I'll see you in the next video.